This is Eugene Pandrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP NV17 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP NV17 laptop computer. And this procedure is for the non-touchscreen version of this laptop. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop, we want to make sure it's safe to work on and that means disconnecting all sources of power. And in order to do that, we remove the battery from this laptop. We flip the laptop over. There's one lever that you slide to your right, lift up the battery and remove it. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. It says HP NV17 notebook. So it should not say 17T, that's the touch version. And there's also HP Pavilion version of the 17 notebook. The procedure is slightly different from that one. So this is for the HP NV17 notebook computer. Okay, we flip the laptop over and take a look. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws that are hiding on the bottom. And we'll get to those shortly. Before we do that, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size of the screwdriver. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate any cables. And we have a hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to remove screw covers and adhesive tape. And that's what we'll start with. There are some screw covers here and here and they're shaped so they're not really apparent but we need to lift them up to get to the screws at the bottom. So we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up the corner here, like so. And once we grab a corner, we'll use our fingertip to remove the screw cover. Now normally the screw covers are more evident, but these are shaped, so they're a bit disguised, so you, you have to be careful when finding it. And what I like to do is attach the screw covers to the screen so we don't lose them. So that's one. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We gently insert our hobby knife so as not to cut the screw cover and just peel it away. Have the hobby knife help you out a little bit. And once again, we put it on the side so we don't lose it. Once we do that, we take our screwdriver and remove the two screws. One and second one at the bottom and for each step for each set of screws I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. Once we remove the screws we're going to snap off the screen bezel from the screen assembly and in order to do that we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out. This model has some adhesive tape on the back of the bezel, so you will hear a peeling sound. And it might take you a bit more time for the adhesive to peel off. If you're having trouble with the adhesive, if it's especially strong, you can run a blow dryer along the screen bezel for a couple minutes, and that will soften up the adhesive. So we make our way around the screen, like so. I removed this bezel once before, so it's a little bit easier for me. So we keep going down. For you, it might be a little bit harder, but take your time. Keep going down. And this part was very difficult for me to remove because there was so much adhesive. So you can run a blow dryer around here if you're having trouble. Otherwise, just take your time. And what you can do is put your thumb on the screen and put peel the screen bezel away and that can help if the adhesive is too strong. So we go like this. Once we do that, we lift the screen bezel up and out and put it to the side. Once we remove the screen bezel, we take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, there's screws on the side of the screen 
that attach it to the metal mounting brackets on the side and we have to access these screws on the side of the screen. In order to do that we need to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. In order to do that we need to remove two screws at the top here and here. And we take our screwdriver and remove the two screws. One and two. And once again, we start a separate pile with these over here. Okay, once we do that, we can take a look and see if we can tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. We can access the screw at the top, but still not the screw at the bottom. So for that, we have a trick. What we wanna do is loosen up the, two, the screws that are holding the metal mounting bracket to the back of the screen assembly. There's three screws, loosen up maybe one or two turns each, like so, and do so on the other side also. Just enough to get to the bottom screw. So once we do that, we can tilt the screen forward and it looks like we still need maybe a little bit more access, so we loosen up the screw screws one more time, like so, and that should be enough space to get to the bottom screw. So we take the screw out, like so. There's one, and two, and make sure you have the screen assembly tilted back when you do this so the screen doesn't fall forward on you. We repeat on this side also and keep moving. One, and I'm just loosening up the screws a little bit to gain more access to the side. And once again, we, we can reach the bottom screw now and we take it out. If you have trouble with taking out the screwdriver, you can use the tweezers to remove this screw. And once again, we put the screws in a separate pile and do the same thing at the top also, one and two. Once we do that, we gently start tilting the screen forward, make sure it's not getting stuck on anything, and put it down like so. For this type of screen, there's only one connector we have to remove to remove the screen, and it's secured by adhesive tape at the top and also the back of the video cable has some adhesive tape also. So we use our fingertips to lift up the adhesive tape. And once we do that, we gently, I'll put it back in, we gently pull the connector out like so. I'm going to reconnect it again to show you how to properly connect it. When you connect it, you slide the connector in and pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, we take the connector out again and take a look at the screen. This is a 17.3 inch LED screen. It's fairly commonly available. And here's the part number that you're looking for. The part number is N173 dash, N173 FGE. N173 FGE, that's the part number you're looking for. Now, when you do get your screen in, most likely it will not have the exact same part number, but it'll look the same with the connector being in the same place. There's uh, five or six different manufacturers that make the exact same screen. You can also order this screen from us, uh, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I use in this video. It comes for free with the screen. We also have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship is not compatible with the laptop, we'll send you a replacement one at no cost. We also have a two-year warranty on our screens against dead pixels, more than one dead pixel in lines and dark screens. And we also have online technical support. So if you have any trouble 
with your laptop assembly, send us email and we'll walk you through the process. Uh, finally, we have free shipping for continental United States. So you'll get your screen in two or three days, even if you choose free shipping. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries. Just go to our shopping cart through the normal checkout procedure and select your country. To order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out to determine the laptop model, and then you'll be guided to buy the right screen online. Okay, once you do get your screen in, connect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the mounting brackets, and put the screws in. If you have trouble putting the screws in at the bottom, there is another opening hole in the middle where you can put the screws in and there's a screw opening in the middle with a screen that should fit and that might make it a little bit easier and the screen will still be securely mounted. Once you mounted the screen, tighten the two screws, the two sets of three screws at the bottom. This is very important that you do that otherwise your hinges will be damaged. Then put the two screws in at the top Snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the bottom, put the screw covers on, and then you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.